Hello guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my reactions and as you can see I'm going to watch episode 5 of Kill la Kill today. So this last episode was really fun and we got to see this whole situation about this uh, no late day and how they had to make it to school in time before classes started. But the way to the school uh, was full of traps, so it was really interesting to see all of these traps that they had to overcome and in their way they also found this girl who was in need of, of help, she had her arm injured and stuff and uh, they went all three together and um, they had to go through all of these traps and it was really fun to see all of uh, the different ones and they were also really dangerous, I mean we saw that whole moment with uh, the buzz and uh, they had to uh, fire uh, against uh, all of the people in those buildings, like shooting at them and then Mako with uh, the machine gun. That was really wild, but um, at least they they did it in the end. But um, before that, the girl they picked up before was apparently not someone they were expecting. So she was apparently a spy and she was trying to figure out ways of uh, making better traps or something. So yeah, she was... Uh, not really who we thought uh, she would be, she was not just uh, a normal student there and she was also looking for uh, Ryuko's uh, Kamui, so she wanted to have uh, this power because she really wanted to uh, d like d dethrone or something uh, Satsuki and uh, be the one in, in charge of this place, but that really backfired on her and uh, in the end she couldn't do anything and the other guy even heard what she said so she was uh, severely punished and I think she was even expelled so that was really bad to her and I don't know if we are still going to see more of her or not but yeah it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens in the end they had the idea that they reached this school but it was apparently a fake one and they had to do everything they could to get there in time, there was like 5 minutes left or something. So there was this cable car that could uh, get there really fast, uh, so they, they just decided to use that and they did it. So it was just in time, just as uh, the teacher was calling their names, uh, they arrived and like the they went into that class in style as well. So that was really cool to see. And uh, now I really can't wait to see what exactly is going to happen in these next episodes. It's uh, definitely going to be really fun. I'm really loving this anime so far. And I really can't wait to see more of these characters and these uh, really crazy situations. So with this, I really hope you guys are ready and let's start the episode. What is this? Is? Like a bike? Oh, damn. Who's this one? Sumugu Kinagaze. Okay. Is he target? Oh, damn. Um another one of those. Oh they it just did that. Only to trigger them more. Sacred flower bed. Oh my god. Is that how he uses his power? A two star. Man, all of these different fighting styles. Holy damn, the nails though. Okay then. Ooh.
Lens. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god, <laughs> that's Ryuko. Well then, is this guy targeting her? Hmm. He also had this life fiber, right? Felt like it was something like that. I wonder if Ryuko is still going to fight this one or not. The... The one with the garden and stuff. With the two-star uniform. He got defeated by this guy, but... I wonder what this one wants. I don't know if he was actually targeting Ryuko or not. He, he was pointing at her, but... He could have just been checking on her. Like, I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to learn that with... Probably this episode. Probably going to show us something about it. Let's see what happens in today's episode. Oh. Oh my god, it's her again. Of course. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> really? I am not surprised. Damn. Hmm. Fiber lost. That looks really like a keychain. Salty. Um. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> the croquettes. I love those. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, she doesn't notice it. How could she fit that there? Oh my god. Holy... It's that guy from before. Okay then. <laughs> oh my god, look at her. I don't think he belongs to any club. Yeah. Pervert club. <laughs> it's those two again. Oh, it's... The second, the second one is probably the same. Or not. Oh. 
to strip you tomorrow. Um, okay. That doesn't sound wrong at all. Who fired that, though? There was another needle. It was him. Hmm, so they're together. I've heard that name before. Ooh. Hmm. A naked nudist. Okay then. <laughs> but yeah, I can see his point. So it could be dangerous for Ryuko to keep using that Kamui. But we'll see about that. But not just for Ryuko, it could be dangerous for many people if she turned into a monster somehow. And this family is just <laughs> so wild. <laughs> of course. Oh my god, really? Oh my god. Really? He farted? Oh my god. Well, there is full nude. Anti uniform gorilla. Oh. Hmm. Yep. Hmm. I see what happens. Oh. That's a good point. Yeah. Delicate situation. And yeah, these guys must be so confused. <laughs> oh. She and go. <laughs> oh 
Well, Only a bit nervous. Hmm. He's waiting for him. Hmm. Oh. Holy damn. It's working though. It's doing the effect right. Um it's this one now. Oh my god. Of course. It to be a mess down there. Hmm. And I get some music. Holy Right in the end. Holy, um, <laughs> even those. <laughs> this is just with the music. Only Oh Well Those are out now it's between these two Yeah Damn, this guy. Hmm. What happened? Hmm. It was pretty clear that something happened to make him like this. Um, holy.
Try to protect her. Man, this guy... It's not like that. Um... Well, who could it be? There she goes. Oh my god. Sure. And she removed... Oh my god. <laughs> Man, this mock is so random. <laughs> but really funny. Maybe it's not. Holy... That was nice of Mako. <laughs> of course. Damn. She's not like in letting it go now. Hmm. He noticed it. Yeah, hopefully he will realize that the relationship is really different from what he saw before. And now she's here. Are they going to fight together? Nice. Holy... All of these weapons and... Well, they left a gift. Oh my god. The armory these guys have is insane. Oh. Hmm. She learned a lot about him. Yeah, she's wearing it. Yeah. At least he noticed. A f is a friend right now. <laughs> really? <laughs> I love this relationship. Oh. Um... Here we go, two more. Yeah.
Yeah, he's basically going to give her a chance to um, to prove that he's wrong and that they can really become allies and work together and not just turn into a monster and become a danger to others. Yeah, hopefully she does that. But we'll see what happens. I can't really say that something bad won't happen because I don't know what's going to happen. But there was that uh, the possibility. I mean, I was understanding him at the start because in the end, this is a really strong power and these Kamuis are really special. Uh, they basically connect uh, to your body. So, I mean, there's a possibility that something could go wrong and the Kamui would take possession over that person and uh, just do whatever they wanted. But hopefully that doesn't happen. And... She will prove to him that that he's wrong and that not like wrong, but that they are special, they are different, and they have this really good relationship between them. So yeah, it would be great to see them as allies for now. But we'll see what happens. But I like how every single episode is just so wild and like a lot of things happening and there's always these moments with Mako just uh, trying to fix things and making things better for Ryuko and this this time it was really nice because she was uh, giving uh, the, the Kamui back to her and explaining that uh, it's really important to her and all of this even though she doesn't uh, quite understand uh, the relationship she just thinks that uh, Ryuko acts like this because it's the only uniform she has but yeah, in the end, we viewers know that, uh, like, how special Senketsu is to, to Ryuko. Uh, but yeah, it's really nice to see these scenes. I'm really loving uh, all of these anime so far. And right now, I really can't wait to, to see what happens uh, in this next episode. We are probably going to keep uh, seeing this situation against um, all of these uh, uh, people in this school. And yeah, I really can't wait to to see more of these fights and I'm curious to see which one uh, Ryuko is going to fight next. I was not expecting the appearance of this guy. They are apparently, or is apparently part of a, a, a group, uh, the anti-uniform uh, guerrillas or something. And um, they are probably like, uh, I mean, as the name implies, they are against these uniforms. And I don't know if there's more people like him or if it's uh, just uh, him or something. Uh, but yeah, they are... Uh, like they have these, uh, uh, or he has these needles, and they had this uh, effect to uh, disrupt the connection between um, uh, a, a Kamui and a human. So it's like a, it involved these life uh, fibers and uh, like like disabling them or something. It I can't really remember how exactly they mentioned it, but it was uh, around those lines. Uh, so yeah, right now I really can't wait to see what happens next. So with this, really hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. So take care, guys.